This morning, a few more clues about Searsha Kennedy Hill's shocking death. An autopsy revealed no signs of trauma on the 22-year-old, found unresponsive Thursday at her grandmother Ethel's home in the Kennedy compound. The reports say an overdose is suspected. The official cause is waiting on the toxicology report. The shattered family, led by Ethel Kennedy, said nothing returning from a sale Friday afternoon, gathering one more time to mourn a family member gone too soon, sharing pictures and happy stories of Searsha on social media. Her uncle, Robert Kennedy Jr., remembering a fearless adventurer whose greatest gift he wrote was to find humor in everything and give us laughter. Aunt Carrie Kennedy posting smiling pictures of the Boston College senior. And NBC News anchor Maria Shriver, another aunt, writing, she left a gaping hole in the lives of all those who loved her dearly. An advocate for women and mental health, Kennedy Hill did not hide her struggle with depression. In her high school newspaper, she described her bad times, writing, Too often it feels as if I'm drowning in my own thoughts, while everyone else seems to be breathing comfortably. Her cousin, former Congressman Patrick Kennedy, praised her candor. She opened the door for her uh, peers to also come out and not feel shamed by this illness and... Uh, and she's a real hero in my family. She broke the silence. Her death, the latest tragic episode in this family's history. Great uncle President John Kennedy and grandfather Senator Robert Kennedy assassinated. Uncles David, Michael, and JFK Jr. all died young. David from a drug overdose, Michael in a skiing accident, JFK Jr. in a plane crash. And now Searsha Kennedy Hill.